Good morning everybody, welcome back to our monthly masterboard challenge for September. I have to say up front, this is not a, a way that I've made a masterboard before, but it's something I have been wanting to try, so what better time to try it than the monthly masterboard challenge. I have grabbed out my book page that I've been using to do these masterboards on lately. Uh, I've backed it with some plain papers for writing so we're good to go on that score now today the focus of the masterboard is words yeah words so I have grabbed out a bunch of my words that I've already cut out of um, magazines and I see a word there that I don't want to use I went through my bag of words where I keep these and pulled out anything um, that I would want to keep for journaling or wasn't appropriate or um, just wasn't the type of wording or phrasing that I wanted for the masterboard and popped that away and just left out the bits that I think would be good. So you'll need a variety of sizes. Um, start with the bigger ones and then you'll end up with gaps that you want to plug with, you know, decreasing sizes. So I've got a whole bunch of different sizes, different fonts, different colours, different papers, um, but all fairly similar weight. I haven't gone with anything that's like on a more cardstocky, like a, off a cover, a magazine cover or something. So I've gone with just, you know, lighter papers. Um, you can also, or instead of, use stamped words. So you can mix and match between the two. Or you can use all stamped words if you don't have a lot of magazines or you don't want to go and harvest a magazine. But literally, um, harvesting magazines for words is brilliant. I'm just going to grab out one here. I hadn't intended to do this, but I'm not going to do the cover because, you know, it's heavier cardstock or heavier paper. Um, so straight away, I see some words that I would like. So I'm just going to chop that out. And oops, I'm blowing them around when I shut the magazine. They just I think I lost one over the side somewhere. So feel a sense of awe. I love that. That is pretty cool. So I'm gonna chop that out and we're going to use it for this masterboard. Now the thing with masterboards, of course, is that you chop them up randomly. So you do have to be okay with chopping your lovely phrases and words into half, you know, half words or half phrases. Got to be okay with that. Um, so this might not be for everybody, you know, it's your choice whether you do this or not, but it can be fun. If you've got an overabundance of harvested words, uh, then it's a great way to use them up. We're also going to be using probably quite a lot of glue pages uh, for gluing on and glue sticks. So I have grabbed out a fresh glue stick. This one's not quite done. Um, so just in case I run out, I thought I'll grab another one. Be prepared. You know, be a good girl guide. I was never a girl guide. I was a brownie, but I was never a girl guide. Um... And while I liked the brownie, being part of the brownies in terms of what we got to do and learning stuff and all that side of things, the girls that were brownies with me weren't that nice. So I, I just didn't go very often because I didn't like being around people who weren't nice to me. You know, why would, why would I? Okay, so put them every which way because you don't know which way you're going to use your piece of ephemera or pieces I should say um, so I'm just going to start building a collage of words and covering over that background which is all about some whoops conflict or war or something something not happy we're going to change that with happy words on top
Right, these are just hand cut. All my words are hand cut, so they're not necessarily um, straight or anything like that. And I've tried to leave enough space around them so I can overlap them to kind of, you know, so I don't get gaps, weird gaps that I've then got to try and fill. Now to partner with this for, t oops, for technique, I've got two different techniques in mind and I, the one I want to do, I suspect won't actually work on this. So I'm going to wait till the end to decide which way I'm going to jump. It will be one or the other of the two techniques and I suspect my backup technique will be the one that we'll be going with. Oops, I meant to put that round the other way, but that's okay. Doesn't matter. Right, I'm just randomly grabbing bits and pieces. And of course, the bigger pieces you use, the quicker it's going to fill up. But try not to end up with an area that's all small ones. Um, do try and mix it up. Even though you're cutting it apart, you could end up with, you know, just a kind of a standout area that's looks quite different. Not the end of the world, but you know, do you do you understand what I'm saying? So we'll put a smaller one in here. That's definitely not cut straight. So just random bits and pieces. You could actually even take that further up. Because there's a white space here, so we could fill that up. Right, do we have anything that would fill that gap? It's not big enough. It's not big enough, but we could possibly put that there. I'm going to glue in the middle there for a moment. Might give my um, glue page a little bit of an opportunity to, for the glue to dry because it's getting very sticky already. Oops, I haven't got that right to the edge. Let's try that again. Okay, so if we find a smaller one, we can pop it in there. I'm going to pop it up the other way though, so it's not in the same orientation. Building, building, building collage with a little bit more thought process involved because you've kind of got to think about where you're placing and filling those gaps with because you don't really want to cover over your words that you're putting down so you need to think yeah, I don't want I don't think I want that word either there's a few that I obviously missed when I was weeding out my bag maybe we'll pop this down that edge I do prefer on this style of collage to start on one side and work across so that you don't end up with funky gaps, but I'm going to break that right here and put this here anyway. Because, you know, rules are made to be broken, apparently. I'm sure they're not, but I'm just breaking my, my own self-appointed rule. so I have no idea how long this is going to take so we'll find out together Actually, I could trim that down a bit more I think Oi, out you go. Smokey, go home. Smokey, oi, excuse me, neighbourhood cat, or neighbour's cat, I should say, has come in to eat 
our kids food no that doesn't work because then they end up with a weird gap so let's change change where I'm going to put that oh look at that it fits beautifully there but I do think I'm going to put it this way round right oh no it's still too sticky I'm going to have to change it Hold it in half. New surface. The magazine paper, most of these are shiny, so I could probably wipe off any glue marks with a wet wipe. But I'd rather not have to bother. It fits nicely in that gap. Um, a short word in here. No, too long. I've got gluey fingers, so it's hard to sift through. That one fits there. Cool. So I'd be interested how many of you are game to give this a go. It's a little bit more time intensive. But a good one I feel to do in front of TV because you can just relax into it and do your harvesting of magazines to get your words or newspapers. Like it doesn't have to be magazines, it could be newspapers. Um, it would give you a different vibe because it's probably mostly going to be um, like the grey newsprint and um, black text. And that will give you a totally different feel than this eclectic colour way. But it would be pretty cool, I think. Let's put that one down there. I think that fits there nicely. And if you're looking for more ways to use your magazines, if you think, well, I, I haven't harvested enough from it, I feel like it's a waste, well, go back through it and see if there's any words you can take out of it before you uh, put it into recycling. That would be my advice. That one fits nicely there. And like normal collage, you don't want things ending in the same place all the time. You don't want to end up with like hard lines. So mixing and matching your sizes helps break up any lines forming. So this one goes across three different pieces. And varying the direction will also help with that aspect. That one fits nicely in there. Oops. Clump of glue on the side of my glue stick. If you don't want to do like a big masterboard, how about just taking a, like, you know, even like this size and doing it on that. I have done this arrangement of words as an art journal spread, which looks really cool. But I thought it would be fun to do it as a masterboard. Let's put a bit of glue on there, take that off. Sticky papers, sticky fingers, everything's going to be sticky rejuvenate your spirit so things like this are most likely going to end up chopped in half and they're not going to say the same thing so you also need to edit a little bit once you chop it into pieces to make sure there's no unfortunate um, words you know if you chop a word in half and suddenly you're left with a a word that you don't like I can't think of an example, and if I could, I wouldn't say it because it's not a word we like. Um, but do you know what I mean? It's like just give a wee check when you've chopped it up to make sure there's nothing untoward. And then you have options. You can either trim off a bit to make it, you know, take a bit more off so it's no longer that word. Or cover it up, depending on where it is on your card and, and how you want to decorate if you want to decorate because I'm thinking these ones might be nice with minimal decoration but we'll see how it turns out we've got to have a bit of love don't we 
got to have love in here somewhere and I have multiple love words in my stash doesn't quite fit there but we can pop it there pop it like a balloon pop pop love that bright pink too it's very happy and I'm gonna overlap it a little bit into that blank space and that's going to help break up lines forming as well here's loved next one I pick up says loved will it fit in that gap no it's, it's just a hair off I don't want the love and the loved together it's too long for there too long for there Maybe we'll put that one aside and come back to it. Whoops, it's stuck to the glue. Um, so how about let's find something to fill this gap here where my finger is. Put that one there. We'll make it work. covers a little over the bottom of the CH on charm but it fills the gap so it's good community where might you like to go community pop you there I think I'm also looking at colors so trying to make sure that the colours are mixed up across the, the board so we don't have like a, a clump of pink and then no other pink. You know, I want a nice spread of colours and fonts and things. Which if you harvest from multiple magazines, you will end up with that. If you go the newspaper route, um, harvesting from newspapers, then you won't need to worry about that because they'll all be fairly similar. And that would be that would actually be a really nice look too, I think. Vintage. So very eclectic mix of words I've got here and phrases. Which is I think the beauty of taking out of magazines. You end up with pre made phrases that just are really fun. luxury shall we put a bit of luxury in here kind of trying to make it fit here so that everything kind of actually i think i need to fill this gap here first because i've got a funky little bit happening that's not quite long enough hard to do with sticky fingers if everything's sticking to me as I'm trying to sift through my pile Could bring that across a little bit we could trim it down a bit and then I think it will work a little bit more Oh my goodness, my sleeve keeps catching things and putting them on the floor. Yeah, that one is now suitable. So you might have to fiddle with things a little bit to get them fitting properly. So they're not covering things that you want don't want to cover, but they're covering the gap. Right. Now, does this work here still? No, it's slightly too long. Just a, just a hair long. So we're looking for something almost that long, but not quite. 
right. Nope, nope, nope. Did that one work? That one works. Okay, sweet. Sweet, it works. <laughs> Right, I want something across here. Beautiful. Yep, that one works. So if this ends up starting to take a wee bit too long, I might pause the video and continue on and then come back and do the technique part of it. Um, but we'll see how we get on. I've just got to keep an eye on the time. Too long. Pause. What about the design? The design might fit there, and it does. Perfect. feel like I'm working in a mess people it's very uncomfortable it wouldn't bother me so much if I wasn't recording I must say if I was just kind of relaxing and you know just working I wouldn't feel so kind of like closed in that's not straight and I think I need it straighter Better. Change out my goo page again. Oops, and there we have a naked statue, naked female statue. So we'll just um, pop it over the other side so you can't see it. Um, also looks like a very um, yeah, no, no, not a good picture. It's a very old statue. One of the masters, I think, but um, let's just say it's not um, PG rated at all. It's not one I've ever seen before, but I kind of wish I hadn't seen it and looked at it to see exactly what the statue was about. Hmm, yes, you just, you just never know. Even in a Reader's Digest condensed book, you just never know what you're going to come across. Not to I think we could probably find something to go in there, so I'll be happy with that gap we can fill. go cool okay no not deep enough what about the loved does it fit in there yes it does awesome We've found a home for loved and it's you know a little bit separated from the word love right now we've got this gap in here well, we've got another love but what else do we have Might be able to trim that down a little bit and make it fit. It's also not straight. Yep, 
Cool. Oh good, it's our cat came in this time, not the neighbour's cat. He's such a toad, the next door neighbour's cat. Such a toad. And I've got this really small one. It says it's a journey, which I'm wondering. I can plug part of that gap. You know, sometimes you want those little bits because they are just perfect for little places. Oh, my fingers are so sticky, um, it's just lifting it up as I try and glue it down. Yeah, right, maybe it's time just to give my fingers a wee wipe down, We refresh. Got this random bit of paper. Oh, that's what we cut out. I'm just going to keep this area here of that colour because that's really pretty. But this time, I think, this time, it's because it says every time that I was reading it as I was speaking, I meant um, this bit I will throw away. That's what I was trying to say. Okay. Creative, that's a good word to include. Oh, yes, lovely, and it fits nicely right across there. Just might take a smidge off. Right, get rid of that um, <clears throat> rather unfortunate image. This is different magazine paper, this is matte paper. Which is quite nice. Creative. That's pretty cool. I love that there. Love from me. That could be quite nice. Will it fit right across there? Not quite, but... I think we can work it and we can plug a gap there so I'm going to pop it on and then we're going to kind of be filling gaps or a gap kind of working into this small area you do tend to as you kind of cycle in towards the middle you end up getting smaller and smaller pieces that you need to put in uh, it is somewhat unavoidable just depending what we've got available to use but I like that across there right in the middle and it'll probably be chopped off ch chopped off and it might end up being E from me like doesn't matter I think it will just be quite interesting so we've got another vintage here where did we put the other vintage or did we not did we not? oh it was there okay so we could probably put one up here somewhere It actually looks nice there, but I'll put it round the other way. So it's facing that way. Okay, we're getting a bit neutral up here. We need a bit more colour. We've got this very bright lucky. I wonder if we can get this to fit here. No, it's going to cover, although, what if we trim it down a little bit? A little bit more. And if this isn't something that appeals to you um, in terms of that you want to do it, I hope you at least find it interesting to watch and interesting, you know, interested to see the results of it. Because I appreciate that not everybody wants to take the time or is into words. I love words and I love working with words and I, as you know, often incorporate them into my ephemera. 
So for me, this is great. I love it. Right, change out my blue page again. And we need a bit more colour in there, but we're heading in the right direction. Um, treasured, that's a really good word, isn't it? Maybe we can pop that down here somewhere. Fit there? No, it won't fit there. But we might be able to pop it here. Let's do that. Uh, which way did I have it? I had it this way, didn't I? Yep, brings in a bit more colour there. Celebration. Celebration of words. And it would be really cool in foreign language too. I think that would look really amazing if you um, are in a different country where you have, you know, Spanish or French or Italian or whatever. If you had magazines in those languages, I think it would look really cool. Radiant. Do we want to pop a radiant in here somewhere? Let's pop it in there. Doing a lot of popping, aren't I? Pop it here, pop it there. And no deflating of balloons in sight. How disappointing. Okay, design. That's a really lovely, um, I think from the same page as that. Same font, same colours. It's lovely. I want something this way here. So I'll hold off on the design, see what else. Too long. Heavenly perfect. Too short. Too short. About art. It's too long there. It will fit here. So let's pop it there. It is again neutral um, or black and white, but we've you know we've got some colour going on, and we can put another bit of colour next to this. And we can put it up this way. We could put this one here. Yep, let's do that. I'm sorry if I put my glue stick in the wrong place and it was casting a shadow. I was just like, oops, it's probably casting a shadow right across my page that I wasn't really noticing. I think I'll put it down that side. Treasures. That will work there. Oh, my nose is starting to run. Excuse me for a moment. It's a beautiful day outside, but I'm cold. And the fire's going, but I am cold today. Passion. That will work well there. Yep. I think that one's done in terms of stickiness. 
so we're going okay on time I feel so far anyway live mindfully oh what about there slightly too long but it works there okay lovely okay pop that there at the risk of creating myself an issue of a gap increasingly weird gap to fill it's inevitable but it's like a jigsaw so i don't mind that i don't mind having to fiddle around and find just the right thing to fill the gap if you're into jigsaws, then this you might actually really enjoy this. So beautiful. That fits beautifully there. It's like it was made for that gap. Which is happy, happy, happy. Yep. Perfection. Okay, we've got a square gap. I did actually have something that was square. Um, whether it was the right size square i don't know and i can't immediately find it so rather than waste time looking for it we'll just move on it's a wee bit too big i wonder if i can trim enough off And remember, you know, if if it doesn't make sense when you chop it apart and you just get random bits of words, you can fully decorate it. It is a background. It's a base. So layer up on top if, it, if you don't like how it looks. It's just interesting in the background, um, just like any other masterboard that you would decorate up. So it, it doesn't need to actually like, oh, I've lost all my words. It doesn't make sense. It's nonsensical it's not about making sense that love is quite close to that love isn't it i did like it there though maybe we can have love and passion right beside each other i'll put this one up the other way though go um oh that's a a cover one i can tell by the weight of it so we'll put that one aside favorite i haven't used the word favorite yet but that works really well there because we've got that pink um blank area we can go over top of that nicely. Inspired. I like the word inspired. Trim a little bit off there and that will fit. Yep. Perhaps a little bit more. There you go. Oh, we've probably run out of room for something like this, a slice of heaven. It's too long so we'll put that one aside small is beautiful same deal it's a bit too long now confidence what about you 
you fit somewhere. Yep, you'll fit there nicely. Okay, I'm kind of ignoring this gap I've got down here and I really need to fill it. Okay, we're okay on time, but we are chewing through it, so I just need to be mindful. Just cut a wee sliver off that. Mm, not sure, actually, if I cut the full stop off and the bit at the end here next to the V might work yes it works there okay so i've got this funky little bit here um we might have to find a tiny tiny piece Too long. Hmm, might have to go looking for something in a magazine to fill that little gap in another magazine. If I put that there, we've just got this tiny, tiny little bit there that's exposed. Um, have I got anything that's super tiny? Ah, here's the square, squarish bit I was looking for. Laughter, the best medicine. Can we still pop it in there? Oh, yes, we can. We can just trim it down a little bit more. Anyone recognise where that's from? Yep, perfect. Awesome. work there no it's too long so I need something shorter so like I said it's, it gets a little tr trickier as you kind of work in but I, I think it's fun I do think it's fun that's about the same length I think so that's not going to work um, it might work up there though it does it's perfect for up there so Put discover up the top. Awesome. My fingers are sticky again, so give them another clean off. I've also got a gap in here. Paint it. No, it doesn't fit. Not the right size. Purpose. Could you fit somewhere? Strength. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Um, well-being, I think that's going to be, yep, it's too big. Adventure, too big. It's about this. Created by nature, crafted with care, shared with pride. It could be quite nice just in there.
enduring that's a good word too and it will fit in there I'll just turn it up the other way I don't think the um, techniques side of things will take very long so I'll go as long as I think is wise trying not to go over time but if we do I apologize in advance um, but I, I think there's value in seeing how I kind of fill in these small gaps that's what I think anyway I may be wrong hmm discovery just looking at this kind of gap in here it would be too long for that gap but we could pop it there oh we've got discover and discovery not not quite so fond of that being so close together creating a buzz let's put creating a buzz there and definitely get takes longer the closer you get to finishing as you plug those gaps inspiration have we got room for you somewhere it's not quite big enough what about perfect yep that will fit in there leaves me with a weird gap but we'll work it out up the other way I think oh actually do we bring it down that way might be then we don't have such a weird gap we've just got this weird gap instead of two weird gaps we've just got one weird gap so that's probably a better idea thought works there very nicely So, more or less, we just have a bunch of weird gaps to fill. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> Change my ugly page. Um, and see what we can plug the gaps with. I may well have to go hunting for some other options. So, enjoy. Doesn't really fit. Okay. So, we're going to be discarding some back into my beautiful will that fit anywhere no oh, it might actually work in a number of places it'll work there yes it works there I just need to trim a little touch off and hopefully I haven't made it too short no, it's good. Well, good thing is I haven't needed to grab out my new glue stick, so I think we're all good on that front. Beautiful. Amazing. As we... Yep, you will fit there. Okay, we should be able to find something that will fit that. What about heart? Oh, it's, mm, can we trim it down? Will it work? A little bit more. I think it will work. Yep, that's good enough for me. Doesn't really cover over any, anything that we don't want covered, so love that. Okay, we've plugged that gap. Let's try for this gap now. I'm trying to move as quickly as I can. We've still got this little, little bit here. 
oh what about this style we'll trim it down Almost there, I think this will work. Yep, I'm calling that good. Oops, covers over the top of the F, but that's okay. Just a smidge. Right, so now we've got this little gap, which is probably very similar in size actually um, it's going to be too big that's going to be too big best that's too big but will it fit somewhere else mm. like that too big that too big everything's you know getting too big now sifting through my pile here looking for smaller things teamwork it actually works in there cool we need something very similar not so tall put the word favourite again which works really nicely in there so let's go with it I don't know where the other favourite is oh there it is so that's okay I knew we'd used a favourite already it can go in there So just that wee gap will best fit in there. It's a little long. Can we make it fit? Yep. So don't mind if it covers over the full stop on that other piece okay that's cool so we have three little gaps let's see if we can we've got the best if we went with best would that work actually it would so let's just go with best again discard the and just need to trim a little bit more off end great awesome that leaves us with two small gaps we are almost there my friends if you're hanging in there i do really appreciate you sticking with me as i work on this and i hope that at least one of you gives gives this a go um i feel like it probably hasn't got a, as wide an appeal as some of the others i've done but you know, you never know. If, if a challenge didn't challenge you, I think then it's missed the mark. Don't you think? Because it hasn't made you think a different way or given you a different, um, something different to try. It's really skinny, but I don't think I have any skinny places for it now. Because uh, it's also long, not just skinny, but it's long new ideas we could perhaps cut i'm going to go with the new i 
we might end up having to cover some of that creative maybe no I'm going to go that way cover the bottom loop on the T which doesn't interfere with it still looking like a T so I think I prefer to go that way so there it still looks like a T and then we've got this tiny gap here we need something short and skinny-ish got another style here is that that's too big that fit no too big okay we've got a couple of diff difficult gaps left and they're both about a similar size actually oh uh, no actually that's probably twice as big um no that's not going to work i might be pausing the camera i feel to fill these difficult gaps here i mean if i didn't wasn't worried about overlapping i would easily be able to take care of them but for me the challenge is not covering over enjoy almost works wonder where was that other skinny bit I wonder if we could cut that up we'll do the ideas I think we'll work with that okay so that'll plug one gap Now, where did I put it? Hello? Oh, there we go. I'll just take the ideas and I'm going to take it right next to the and symbol. So it's hopefully long enough. It's not quite, but I'm going to go with it. It's, there's just a tiny, tiny wee bit that it doesn't fill the entire little piece. I think it's good enough. Put it right on the edge of that piece underneath. And there's just just a hair width that it doesn't fill. So I am going to count that as good. And it's so small, it's sticking to my fingers rather than paper. But there we go. So one gap. <laughs> I think have a feeling we're just going to go slightly over time my friends um, but we're almost there just need a tiny little something fun is that small enough I wonder if I can just cut it down a little bit just a magazine word if I ruin the word by doing this it's no real loss there'll be other fun words that I will be able to find and use I don't think that really helped no okay <laughs> gave it a shot didn't work okay I am just going to pause the camera, I'm going to find something to fill the gap with and then I'll come back and do the de technique, the final bit on this masterboard. So, be right back. So, what I did was I measured the gap and on my ruler and went through a magazine kind of working out what would be the right size. So, I've ended up with this fresh air phrase and I've trimmed it to about half a centimeter in high because this is a centimeter by a centimeter approximately the gap so I'm going to cut out fresh and put glue on that oh, 
no fingernails trying to get it off the glue stick and I've got a little bit more to work with up here in terms of length so my fresh is going to go there and where's my ear gone there it is so now I'm going to trim that to the right size so leaving a bit of blank paper on the end and that's going to work well just need to trim a little bit off Okay, oops I didn't glue that on straight, there we go, and put the ear underneath, if I can get it off my fingers that is, ah, too gluey, too gluey, right, there, use my card to push it on I think. Okay, so gap plugged. Sometimes you've just got to get that extra little bit creative, don't you? So that's the masterboard base done. So for the technique part, I was wanting to do stenciling. But I actually think stenciling, one, because the paper, most of the papers are shiny, isn't going to work that well. Um... So I'm going to go to my backup technique and that's going to be whitewash. So I have a just a plastic lid here to put some paint in. I've got white house paint, which I'm going to just pour a little bit. I'm always too heavy handed with this, but always put out more than what I need. You don't need a lot. That will be ample. You could use whatever paint you've got. I'm going to thin it down a little bit. Just a tad. A couple of spritzes. And I've got a very um, stiff, not stiff, but um, coarse brush, I guess is how I'd describe it. So let's mix that paint up a little bit. We don't want to go super heavy because we don't want to cover over all our words. But we just want to kind of blend things in, give it a little extra texture. So a bit of paper underneath. And I'm just going to kind of wipe some of that paint off. And I'm just going to go over randomly adding some texture. So you can still see the words underneath. But it does bring it together a little bit. And you can put as much or as little as you like on. I just want to really hit it in some spots. It will also help dull down some of that shininess from the magazine paper. So I think this is definitely the preferable technique with this particular masterboard and also if you want to ink over top it's going to allow the ink to adhere better because it will adhere to the paint better than it will to the um, shiny papers and gives it a, a somewhat distressed look as well I'm loving the look I'm so glad I actually went with this technique as opposed to the stenciling I think the stenciling would have just made it too busy whereas I think this brings it all together in the most perfect way Okay, so I've ended up giving it a fairly good cover. It doesn't take a lot of paint or a lot of time, which is good because we took a lot of time actually putting the, the masterboard together. And there we go. Oops, maybe a little bit along the edge where I missed.
but we don't want to cover over the words we want them to be readable um, but just adding that texture there we go there is the September master board a little bit different isn't it um, I don't know if anyone's done this before but I think it's fun and I'm looking forward to working with it next Friday oops and that must be my cue to go because my alarm's going off thanks for joining me friends hope you join me next week sorry about the noise in the background uh, have a great weekend bye